Hey, in this video, you are going to learn about Ruby ma math methods. How you can do common math operations in Ruby and a few code examples. Okay, the first uh, math method we are going to look at is called absolute so for example <clears throat> if we have a negative number like minus 10 and we want to make it positive one thing you can do is multiply it times one right so let me show you that but then if we have a positive number and you want it to still be positive then you can use this trick. This is where the absolute method method comes in, right? Because now I can do this. I can do dot abs, which st stands for absolute. And what this does is gives you the positive number. And it also works. For, this also works for positive. Num numbers are already positive numbers so you always get positive number right so that's the absolute method and it can be helpful when you're doing working with some numbers and you want to make sure that the number is going to be positive right and that's what this method is for so the next method I have for you is the square root. So we can use this math uh, module in Ruby. It comes with the square root method. And we can do, for example, square root of 9. We should get 3. So square root, I'm not sure how to explain it. So you can search Google for how that works. But basically, it's related to exponentiation, right? So that's the square root. Now, we have exponentiation itself, right? So exponentiation looks like this. We can do 3 uh, to the power of 2, or elevated to 2. There are different ways to say it and this comes out to 9 right or we can do to the power of 3 we get 27 so exponentiation is very simple what it does is it takes this number times itself 3 times or 2 times or 4 times right so this number is called the base, this number is called the exponent, okay? And um, basically, this is what's going on, right? Times 3, times 3, times 3. It's times itself, the number times itself, this amount of times, right? That's what exponentiation is. And um, if you need to do that, this is how you do it. In computer science, often we use uh, exponents. We use the exponent of 2. But actually, we use um, base 2, and then we keep raising the exponent. And now, if we, I do this, or I use a bigger number, you, we recognize that we get 124, then 2048. So when you, buy, when you go to buy computer memory, RAM, they're always in these numbers usually. So you buy, you buy one gigabyte, which is this number. 
is one gigabyte, right? In so this is where um, experimentation comes in, in in computers and computer science, also other things. Then besides exponentiation, we also have logarithms. Logarithms. So logarithms in Ruby look like this. You do math log two, where there are different kinds. There is log ten, and this is the base of the logarithm. But in computer science, we mostly use log two. Uh, for example, you can do one twenty-four and we get 10. So what is the logarithm? Well, basically the logarithm says that given this base, so base two, what is the number that goes in here, right? To get this number. So if this was an, e an equation, this would be something like this, right? And uh, what we want to do with a logarithm is find the x. And in this case, the x is 10. So that's what logarithms are. Logarithms come in also in computer science, specifically in algorithms and time complexity, right? So you might have heard of binary search or binary trees. Well, this work as a logarithm time complexity, which means that the, I will have to show you like a graphic, but I don't have it right now. You can search it for logarithmic, logarithmic curve or logarithmic uh, graph, graph or something like that, and you will find it. Um, basically, a logarithm uh, grows much slower than a linear time algorithm or exponential algor algorithm or a quadratic or algorithm, right? So that's why uh, binary search is so fast and is related to this, to, the, to these logarithms, right? So one more method, uh, and that's going to be also one of the most helpful ones, one of the ones that do, you will actually use a lot, and that's the round methods. At least if you work with numbers and things like that. So let's say that I have four times seven, but I want to round this to an integer, to a whole number. Well, I can just round, and it will round up to five. But if I have 0.5, I still get five. But as, so, as soon as I go less than 0.5, then it rounds down. So round, rounds to the nearest number, but when it's in the middle, it will round up. Right? So that's the round method. So the, that's the basic um, methods, ma math methods in Ruby. There is also some trigonometry, trigonometry methods, but I don't think you're going to need that unless you're doing like game development, which is pretty rare in Ruby or things like that. So that's it for this video. Hope you like it. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you did. Watch more of my videos to keep learning and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.